Christina Kjær is from Denmark and she works in local and regional radio, but it's public, it's not commercial. Yeah, and it's actually not radio, it's a media house. And oh. what we do, audio, and I think that was what I just talked about, the future. Wow. Yeah, exactly, because we know that we saw a tendency in the market that more and more people were listening to audio and we were not doing audio. So what we needed to do is what, okay, what we do great is journalism. Yes. And we need to convert that in a format where people use it. That's audio. So not to make it platform specific. Exactly. But taking good journalism, taking core content and then converting that into a format that people use. And in this case, it's actually podcasts. And we do that really well because a lot of our local podcasts, actually almost all of them are going national. Wow. So yeah. the, the, the public service media houses, yeah. the, the regional ones, mm -hmm. they are completely independent or mm -hmm. does a lot of their content come from the national station or how does it work? Yeah, we're completely independent. We do everything from ground. We work together with TV2 Denmark. They can buy our articles and use those. But otherwise, we're actually owning our own stuff. So we are doing TV, we're doing long reads, we're doing social medias and so forth, and now also podcasts. The majority of your audience, where is it? What platform? Uh, right now, it's online. It's online. It, it's social media and web. It's, it's overtaken radio and television. Yeah, yeah, completely. We did the digitaliz digitalization strategy like six, eight years ago, and right now we've transformed. But you still have, even though you did the digitalization, yeah, you, still, you still have um, the TV and radio networks running. Yeah, uh, we don't have radio course. networks running. We have never done that, but we have TV running. But right now, we it's not our core focus at all. We do that because we have to, and there are some audience there that we still please. But we do, I mean, the majority of our development is within the digital field and within the audio field. Do you see the day when the TV station will be turned off, the regional ones, because there isn't the demand to keep it going yeah, anymore? Yeah, I think so, and I think it will be, probably because we're public service, will probably be done politically. Politi it would have to be political, of course, yeah. yeah. But the cost would justify the audience anymore because most would be online. Yes, yes, I think we're there already today. Wow. So what were you talking about <laughs> in the hall? Uh, today I was talking about how we are actually surviving or, or actually creating really good content local stories and transforming them into stories that goes national. Yeah. What's the key to that? It is collaborating with people who are better than you. So we are not building a department of audio in-house. We're saying we're really good at journalism and then we could collaborate with external production companies extremely good at creating podcasts that can then work together with us actually giving it the format that we want and giving it a world-class format. It's not a cheap thing to do when you're dealing with external no. production companies. But it's cheaper than to build it in-house. And the funding model is a public service as in license fee? Uh, I mean, right now in Denmark, it's license fee. You don't have to pay for anything yeah. no, as it is. Wow. No. Okay. What do you think of Radio Days, by the way? Is it your first time? Yeah, it is my first time. I think it's quite interesting. I've never, but it, I think it's because I haven't worked in audio, but I, a lot of people, and I like that, and I like that being inspired by different countries' approaches to things. And so I think that's uh, that's really beautiful being here. Yeah, it was great talking to you. Thank yeah, you so much. Welcome.